Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's St. Pauli facing Borussia Dortmund. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Thomas Meunier plays with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays alongside Mahmoud Dahoud in the centre of the pitch. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And now they get the ball rolling. An authoritative challenge. Jackson Irvin. T. Rice. Shielding the ball superbly. teammates to play it to but defensive efficiency there well the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick deep into the penalty area not at all problematic for the goalkeeper well it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action and Derek can he finish this and a goal right off the bat no wonder they're jumping for joy Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again here. One nil the score. that final pass you just feel Borgstella no way through well they won't get too many chances so they need to make the most of this <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate well, just couldn't quite control the header and a disappointing effort in the end.
possibilities inside the box. Royce foiling his opponent completely. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Read it well. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Ditchkin. Burgstaller. And he read it well defensively. Hummers. And Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank. Hold on! They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So 2-0 now. Take it away. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. A bit of running room now on the wing. And slipped through beautifully. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. and unable to keep possession and the counter looks on here options available Holland and looking towards the back post but keeper's ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery Erling Holland really getting stuck in defensively <laughs> defensive resilience to shut them down well on the cusp of the half-time interval and the visitors are prospering Stuart what have you made of their performance well from an attacking point of view Marco Reus well the keeper performing brilliantly well that's just incredible he reacted so quickly there Corner fired in by Rice. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. He's got the right idea with that pass. Buchtmann. And space to cross it. Excellent defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Minier. Holland. He must finish. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal.
So the ball moving again, and it's turning into a trouncing, you've got to say. Dortmund hold all the aces. Brandt. The ball with Marco Reus. A chance to whip it in. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Christopher Buchmann. Hartel. Burgstaller. No possibilities in the centre. Zierreis. Buchtmann and Irvin on the ball good tackle well the counter chance looks very real and Bellingham can he take advantage well we could have made that decision from up here on the gantry substitution it is for Dortmund Lukas Daschner. Burgstaller. Delivered into the area here. Keeper getting the touch. Well, that's the end of that for now. Daniel Malin. And back to Bellingham. Will he play it in? Really good interception. The outcome is a goal kick here. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. And here's Azar. And Royce is in the thick of it. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, a short corner here. Brandt. Here's Royce. Back to Holland. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Axel Witzel. Brandt. Can he put it in? And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that?
So the corner played into the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. And full back. Marco Reus. Chance to cross. Witzel. Brandt. Teammates in the middle. Not the best clearance. Meunier. And on to Bellingham. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Torgan Azar. Hummers. Brandt. Could be dangerous. Putting his body on the line. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. An alert intervention. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Goodness, it's so one sided. 5 0 in this match. Smith now. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Hummers. Bellingham. Axel Witzel. Torgan Azar and Bellingham and behind it's gone for a corner Played over. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Might really be able to trouble them here. Chance to finish. But crossing possibilities. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Now the delivery. Oh, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Meunier. Can he put it away? Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And there goes.
blows the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.